Hey guys, this is Vess from PropWash.com. Nova recently upgraded his Fat Shark Dominators with the LaForge Diversity System. We wanted to make a video showing the entire upgrade process, including disassembling and modifying the Fat Shark goggles. For the full write-up, including tool list, pictures, and review, check out the link in the description. Alright, so let's get started. Our first task is to disassemble the Fat Sharks so that we can install the LaForge system. Nova wanted a clean final build, so he'll be making some permanent modifications to the goggles to hide the connecting wires between the LaForge modules. In order to do so, he needed to disassemble the goggles to get to the internal components. The first step in disassembly will be removing the side covers and the original module. These can easily be popped off using a flathead screwdriver. Carefully remove the original module and put off to the side. Next, remove the three mounting screws located on the bottom of the goggles. This is going to require a small screwdriver to complete. Remove the screw located near the bridge of the goggles. This is going to be located right above where the goggles rest on your nose. Next, remove the faceplate by carefully pulling it away from the main goggles. It shouldn't take too much pressure to pull apart. Now that the screws and faceplate are removed, we can separate the goggles. Carefully pull apart the goggles starting from the sides. The middle section of the goggles took quite a bit of force to remove on Nova's goggles, but it eventually came off. When pulling these apart, be careful not to apply too much force and send the internal parts flying. Once the pieces are separated, disconnect the side wires using a screwdriver. The ribbon cable on the left side of the goggles may be a bit tricky if you haven't seen a cable like this before. Simply flip the small latch up with the screwdriver to disconnect the wire. This should complete the disassembly of the Fat Shark goggles. Make sure you put all of the screws someplace safe for when you're ready to reassemble. You won't need the covers anymore so you can put them aside. Now we get to install the LaForge module set. We recommend positioning the modules first so that you can visually lay out your final setup. You'll notice that there are plastic sections within the module slots that prevent us from running the wire cleanly through the goggles. To fix this, we're going to have to cut some spaces for the wires into the goggles. Obviously these next steps should be approached with caution, as you don't want to mess up a $400 set of goggles. Our approach was to heat up a hobby knife and carefully cut a channel for the wire to pass through. The hot knife should pass through the plastic easily. If you do run into resistance, don't force the blade. Instead, reheat the knife and continue cutting. Now we have a nice channel for running our connecting wires through the goggles. Unfortunately, the original Fat Shark layout causes the diversity module to sit at a weird angle that will not fit our custom covers that we printed up. We need to again cut away some of the plastic so that the module rests further into the case. Repeat the same steps as before. Heat the knife and carefully cut away the plastic as needed. This may take a few tries to get right, so it's recommended to cut less than needed, check the fit, and then cut again. Now that everything fits cleanly, it's time to secure everything up. Our first step is to secure the wire to the inside of the goggles. To do this, Nova used hot glue to hold the wire in place. Now we can reassemble the goggles and do some simple safety tasks before cleaning everything up. We're basically going to repeat the steps from our earlier disassembly in reverse. To begin the reassembly, reconnect the wires on each side of the device. Again, the ribbon wire may be a bit tricky. Make sure that the metal pins are facing towards the board and make sure to close the latch after it's plugged in. Next, reattach the two pieces of the goggles. This part can also be tricky as you want the lenses from the top piece of the goggles to match up with the IPD switches on the bottom of the goggles. The easiest way to do this is to carefully push the lenses and IPD switches towards the center of the goggles. After closing the pieces together, check that the IPD switches seated correctly within the goggles by moving them back and forth. The lenses should cleanly move with the switches. This may take a few tries to get right. It definitely did for us. Before screwing everything in, we wanted to perform a few safety tasks. First, Nova used a multimeter to test for any shorts. It's better to find out now rather than when plugging in the battery and possibly frying the goggles. To do this, he set his multimeter into ohms mode and probed the power connector for the battery and the board within the goggles to do a continuity test. If the numbers hit zero, then we know there's a short and we have a problem. Since the multimeter here is incrementing, we know that we're okay. Our next safety measure is to wrap the back of the diversity module in electrical tape. You may notice that the back of the diversity module is metal and rests closely to a board within the goggles. To prevent any issues if anything slips around, Nova wrapped the back of the module with electrical tape. 
He also removed the extra pin lengths from the back of the beeper to prevent poking himself if he ever had to open up the goggles again. Not a necessary step, but more of a personal preference. Our final safety measure was to apply some double-sided tape to the main module. This is because the only connection the module has in this area is via the pins into the goggles. In order to prevent the module from wiggling and possibly breaking the pins, Novo applied double-sided tape to give the module a nice cushion. Finally, reattach the faceplate and screw in the four screws. We finalized the design with some 3D printed covers that we picked off Thingiverse and doubly secured them with white electrical tape. The end result was a clean set of goggles that don't look too far off from the original design. We hope that this video was helpful in demonstrating the disassembly of the Fat Shark goggles and installation of the LaForge FPV module. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments below. Again, check out propwash.com for the step-by-step -step installation and review of the LaForge module.